viewers, welcome to UrmishaJewel.com and this is signing in Urmisha Potiwala and you are watching a very exciting video on prologue programming especially for the beginners. Today in this video I am covering the topic called input predicates and output predicates. Now let's start with this input and output predicates. Now these input and output predicates are the built in predicates. Input is, as we know that the value is to be given from to the variable from the user through the keyboard itself, that is called the input predicate, and the output predicate, that is the output, any output I will get, or on the screen, or on the printer, anywhere, any of the output devices, it's called for the output predicate. So here these built-in predicates so let's start and understand what this input and output predicate is so here first input predicate now there are four different types of input predicates that we usually use in prolog programming that one is read ln read character read int and read real these four varieties of input predicates they are used for different purpose read ln here you can see that read ln read character read int and read real here read is being common to everything that you can easily understand this is for the input predicate now ln char int and real i think you might be recalling some of the previous pro programming languages that uh, you have heard about it that ln it stands for something about string if any of the object or your variable is of string type then you can use read ln for inputting or for giving an input to the variable character char is for character that uh, for a one single letter or an alphabet if you want to give an input you you can use read character read int is for integer type so if any variable is of integer type and your input you want to give is of integer type then you can use read int read real so in that real real is stands for uh, some of those floating point so floating point means decimal fraction value so if any of the value you want to give in a floating then for that we can use read real same as for that there is an output predicate you can use is one you can say write another one is in write f and write device all these three are of for different purpose same as for write simply is for writing within the double quotes whatever it is written it's completely been in the output that is in the de uh, from uh, in the output device or you can see in the screen write f where f stands for format it's for formatting some of the in some of your output is to be formatted in particular pattern so for that write f is used write device other than using on the monitor you can directly give it to the printer for that uh, you can use write device so uh, we can go through with this in a very deep uh, deeper understanding so for that individually i'm taking this with an example so let's understand the first input and output predicate read ln and write predicate in an example i am showing with this what is read ln and write again i'm repeating read ln ln it stands for the string variable that if you want an input uh, is of string type string data type then you can use read ln so let's see an example here i have taken um, two variables that is city and state of string type and third variable is replies also of string type here the predicate is an address city and state are the two arguments that i am passing in it of string type in the clause i have take a rule in which address address is the relation name city comma ontario in write here the write within the double quote whatever it is written it will be printed directly to the device output device now there is written after that a comma comma again there is within the parent uh, double quotes then comma here the write after that there is a comma now uh, if you don't remember then please go through my part 2 video that is on prologging in that i have mentioned that 
comma is state for an end operation an end operation means if this statement is true then only the next operation will be checked or the next statement will be checked so here the right statement if it is true uh, right statement is always going to be true because it's default by default it is always going to be true now after that there is a next statement after comma it is written read ln reply read ln reply here reply is my variable read ln is for something like same as uh, if you have understood the c programming then in that we have written scanf that is for user input so here read ln is same uh, working as that of scanf that is for user input in which ln where reply reply is a variable which will accept the string type of data comma nl nl uh, again there it is if uh, comma nl nl is for next line comma there is an reply is equal to yes this is already a built in or it is given so that means this is a fact that the reply value is yes comma again write which is always going to be true that means the statement is always this fact and the th the rest of the three are just uh, the facts given so let's see this that how when the goal particular goal how the response will be from the prologging so here even the goal if i am writing address london comma ontario now the city is been bound with the value called london so th its city is a bound variable where ontario is uh, same it is already given so in based on that it will be checked in the rule that this goal is true only if the right in that right it is written that does the city now the city city is been replaced with the value called london so belong to an ontario yes or no so right is always going to be by default true so that's why it will print as right does the london belong to the ontario yes or no this will be asked in the question in the next line it is read ln reply now reply as this is you have to give so in that now i am writing here yes so if yes is written it will check reply is equal to yes now both these statements are true as because reply in value it is also reply and fact is also reply that's why this statement is true and the right operation is also true that's why this rule is states true so the whole it will reply as true so for example in the goal if i'm writing address london ontario same the right operation will go as it is by default true so it will does the london belong to ontario yes or no it will is true so it will print in the next line in read ln if i'm writing instead of yes am i writing no that means it will contradict with the next line that is reply is equal to yes as it is a fact so no and yes both will contradict so the whole rule will will state no so the rest of the lines are not being checked and directly this will move out of these rule as the rule is become false so the right the next of the line will not be checked this is how the read ln and write predicate works now i am taking an another example for read character and write in this same city state now here in instead of reply uh, as in earlier previous uh, you know uh, example i have written this string now instead of that i am here writing character as for character data type so here in uh, wherever the place of reply uh, read ln i am writing here read read character reply and in reply in the next line it is written y same example so for that if i am checking with the goal address london ontario does the london belong to ontario yes or no with a y and n in read character if i am writing y that means it will completely justify with the reply y which is in the next line so the statement will true and the right uh, the next will be written true so for example again if i am writing this uh, london in that if i am writing n then it will contradict with the value of uh, the fact that means it will state false and the whole rule will false this is how the read character works now i'm taking an another read int and write predicate in this i have seen that uh, uh, in that i've taken an another example in which i have taken patient is equal to string that is patient to value will be of string type age here i am taking as an integer as is read int int is stands for an integer so i am age i am taking as an integer now this program is actually will check whether the patient is of 12 years greater than 12 years or not 
if it is less than 12 years it will not check the further as the whole rule will not state if it is greater than 12 then it will write uh, that the patient cannot be evaluated so here in the clauses it is written that check age patient is a rule where write what is the patient's age in the next line it is written read in age so as in place of age whatever the value you are giving it will check on the next line with an age is greater than 12 so age if age is greater than or less than it will compare and if both these statements true then only the next line will evaluate it otherwise the whole rule will false so for example here taking check age Alex I'm taking the patient name Alex so here in the right it will print what is the Alex age in read int in place of age if I am taking here 11 so that means the value of age is been bound with a value called 11 so here 11 is greater than 12 no it's not true so that means both these value or the evaluation is false that's why the whole rule is false so the next line of patient cannot be evaluated is not going to be print on the output device so for example again I'm taking check age Alex in that here I'm writing what's the Alex Alex age now I'm writing age is equal to 34 here the next line of age greater than 12 so here 34 is greater than 12 yes it is true so as all these statements are true that's why the patient cannot be evaluated and this whole clause is true I hope you are uh, able to get clear with this topic uh, so now next we can see is read real and write very good in this I have taken an example of uh, item and price here item is of string type string data type price I am taking the real that is in floating value predicate is an ask, pri ask price item comma price in clauses I am writing here a rule in which ask price item comma price this rule il will true or you can say it will be justified only if the rest of the facts are true here the first fact is write what is the price of an item next fact is read real price the value of the price you have to give in the form of real value and write that item price is of this so here in the example I can see with the goal that ask price HDD comma price so here the item has been bound with a value called hard disk that is HDD price is same free variable now this rule is true only if in the right uh, what is the price of an item so it will print like what is the price of HDD in place of item it will replace with HDD the next line is of read real price so now I am writing the price of the so I am giving an input of for this price so say for example is 2344.50 paisa 50 paisa so if I am writing like this now the next line is right item price price so here item it will replace as HD D price is 2344.50 this is how the whole program will work for the read real now the very last two points are left for the output predicate now we have covered with an input predicate so next is for write as now as I have said that write as where F stands for formatting now what, uh, whatever it, as in the right we have directly is written whatever it is in uh, double quotes but if those points whatever written in the double quotes if you want to change with certain patterns then you can use write f so here are some syntax are there where write f format whatever the format you want comma e1 comma e2 comma up to en these are the variables or the values that you want to replace in particular format and the variable format will be percent minus m comma p where minus is for less justification and if it is minus not written then it is uh, taken as right justification that is left left justified we can see left justified and right justified so here uh, minus stands for left justified m stands for width width of this uh, variable t stands for the length after the point 
decimal points. So let's say one example I'm directly using a write in which say for example directly if I'm writing write f percent minus 10 space hash then percent 2.0 dollar 3.2 slash n within double quotes. So these within double quotes is actually a format in which you want to write this where 1 comma 35 comma 3.7 these value you want to write. So here the output could be like in place of percent minus 10 individually we are now breaking this thing in this percent minus 10. Now percent minus 10 if you compare it with the variable format of percent minus m comma dot t so here minus m minus m will be minus 10 minus 10 for left justified so the variable 1 that is where 1 will be left justified by 10 characters. 10 stands for 10 characters. Here 10 characters will be left justified of variable where 1 values. Then after that there is would be a space then hash then it is written percent 2.0. Now percent 2.0 as before 2 that it is not minus that means it is now right justified. So percent 2.0 means the length of this variable 35 that is now it will be check on the base of 35. So 35 will be of 2 will be of 2 uh, uh, characters and this plus so that means it would be right justified. Right justified by 2 places 35 will be written and after point 0 that means decimal after decimal there is no point is to be written that is no value is to be given after that it is written the dollar sign dollar it is written after the space of two characters then dollar now here it is two 3.2 3.2 means the three are the number of characters before the decimal point or you can say the total length of the value after decimal there will be of two characters so that means 3.7 so here total will be of three characters that means 3.7.0 means after decimal point there will be two values will be there so 7 and 0 will be by default it will be written so total is of three characters this is how the write f predicate is used and a very last would be write device predicate now write device instead of directly instead of writing is just on the output screen on the of the monitor you can directly redirect your output to the printer so this is for redirecting you can say it's a built-in predicate for example here I am writing write device printer so that means printer I am taking as for an output device so in this write this will print on the printer it will print on the printer write device is on screen so this is also on the screen and it's also on the printer so this is called for redirecting output will be this will print on the printer that means by as normal if you write write it will be print on just on your screen and if you want to redirect it directly on the printer then you can use write device as in input predicate which is a built-in predicate and in within the parenthesis if you write a printer as the variable then you can redirect this with a write device predicate but I would say that the mostly we are using with write f and write predicate write device is very it's not uh, you know normally used I hope you all been cleared with uh, this input and output predicates and I hope you feel like my video uh, you can subscribe my channel and even you can move to thumbs up and for more updates you can check it out through my blog even uh, that is on elmishaeduworld.blogspot.in Thank you very much for watching this video.